let's start talking about when you got a little bit more serious into baseball. So now you made this transition, like, okay, I'm not going to do gymnastics as much and I'm going to start to do more baseball. What was that journey like for you from intermediate school and how did that progress through the years? Yeah, coming through intermediate school, I was always, like I said, really undersized. So in seventh grade, I was uh, probably like me among two others, like the smallest three on the team. Like didn't see any playing time as a seventh grader. I was kind of just like us three every day we would carry, like we were wheeling the water bottles to practice or like the big water, the Gatorade water jugs. So that, that was our role. But I always loved it. Like I always loved baseball. It was always a passion of mine. Uh, my mind is that little, uh, that little surfing period we talked about. <laughs> but uh, yeah, no, it was something that I'd always loved. And I wasn't always the most capable on the team. Like I know I always talk about how, how well I can move, how well I like uh, the body awareness that helped me do sports at a young age. But uh, I guess through that time, I was just small to the point where it was hard for coaches to like look at me and actually play me. You know, like, even though I could move well, it's like, oh, here's an athletic kid. But I was small to the point where it's like, you almost can't play him, you know? No, that's something that I can actually really relate to. Because me growing up, I was always like one of the smallest kids growing up. And for me personally, it really, you really have to focus on the technique. Because I mean, if you're, you don't have the physical size, then you have to make up for it some, some way, somehow, right? So it sounds like, because you are able to improve technique and skills, eventually it caught up because eventually, you know, you're going to kind of grow into your frame and, you know, strength is going to come in high school and everything. So intermediate school, was it competitive to, you played for Iolani for intermediate? Yeah, intermediate, that was all at Iolani. Got it. It's, is it pretty competitive even at the intermediate level? Yeah, it, so it was really competitive. Luckily at the intermediate level, we had two teams. So it's like we had an older, we kind of had like an eighth grade team and a seventh grade team. But I think uh, because me and my the other two teammates I was talking about, because we were so small, like we, we made the numbers to make the team, but they put us on the older team. So we were like, like maybe had like two innings in the field the whole season. Got it. So after intermediate, how did that pan out? Did you, did you play JV? Yeah, so after the intermediate season, um, as an eighth grader, I got put on the, like, kind of the younger, weaker team. And that was, like, when I first had, like, my 600. Like, I hit 600 that year. And the coaches were all like, okay, like, this guy can play a little bit. And I started, like, working my way into the lineup from there. And then when did the – because even now, everyone that knows you, too, says that you can hit. You're definitely a strong player. And even when we train, right, your strength is something that you work really hard at. So when did you actually start to strengthen condition and actually take the strengthening side more seriously? What year was that for you? Uh, so I guess unknowingly, just playing all the sports that I did when I was young, I was like, I was always fit. Like I never had an off season. And I thought that helped me out so much just in terms of being competitive you know, like at an early age. Um, but as far as getting in the weight room, when I was a sophomore, so the first year I made the varsity team, I was lucky. I had a I had an upperclassman, Kurt Yoshikawa, and he he kind of took me under his wing. And I was like, okay, like I like I really like this kid. He can swing it a little bit. I think he can help us. Like we just got to make sure he's not walking into the season at 120 pounds. And yeah, I was really fortunate to have him. He kind of like taught me simple movements, like how to bench press, how to squat. So you were on Vars as a sophomore? Yeah, so as a sophomore, that was my first varsity season. Got it. So, oh, what do we kind of skip a little bit? So rewind a little bit. All growing up through intermediate school and then eventually JV and Vars, what positions did you play? And how did that kind of tune in or hone into your outfielder in college and beyond, right? So how did that, were you always an outfielder or did you play other positions? So growing up, I was always an infielder. Like through Little League, I was a shortstop. And then even through JV at Iolani, I played the infield. So back then, I always, like, they had to take me out of the infield because I couldn't throw the ball straight to first base. Like, I was one of those that couldn't throw straight. <laughs> so they had to move me to the outfield because I couldn't make routine plays. But looking at it now, it's like, I was always frustrated because I knew I could do the job. Like, I knew I could put in the work. But it's like, after the work, like after doing rehab with you guys and seeing just like the dysfunctions that I had in my body, I'm like, well, it's no wonder I couldn't throw the ball straight because I like 
I didn't have my core in line enough to like set my feet properly to direct myself in the right like you know but that that eventually put me into the outfield <laughs> got it and then did you enjoy playing outfield once you got there yeah i did uh, i really to me as long as i got to hit i wasn't like as long as i was on the lineup card i didn't really care where i played i i was just a gamer you know i just wanted to be in there i wanted to get at that and it sounds like you know from what i hear from others too it sounds like really hitting is what you enjoy doing so it doesn't matter where you are on the field as long as you get to hit that's really your passion for baseball yeah I, I was always a hitter you know like I was always like aggressive and competitively like hitting's one of those difficult things in sports where like it's such a mind game mm -hmm. but at that like I think the way that I started playing baseball I was just like kind of a space cadet like I was so oblivious to like the game going on like I never picked counts I never like you know, I never like looked at the game as the chess match that it is. I like, I think that really helped me in developing and just like I was free swinging all the time. Yeah, that actually takes out some of the the complexity mentally because if you know, it's good to pay attention to all of the the mental side of it. But if you overdo it, right, sometimes you become too hesitant. You it screws up your actual performance, right? So that's good that you are just playing the game and just free swinging and trying to hit the ball, you know, every single time. Uh -huh.